before we open to Q&A, sir, we have a couple of questions we want to ask. How are you so humble? Yeah. Huh. I don't know how else to be. Uh, because I know who I am and uh, I always say I am Saranan and I am working for Surya. So I think that's how I, it all starts and uh, only, only thankful. Uh, completely humbled because of this unconditional love. I have to be this way. I don't know any other way. And uh, which role do you find most challenging, sir, as an actor, producer, or as a husband, father? <laughs> I don't see it challenging, but uh, responsibility definitely uh, should be a good family man first, and then the rest. <laughs> Everything else will flow and follow after that, but the priority will uh, always be as a good family man first. So do you know you have a huge fan base in Bangalore and they celebrate your film just like festivals. I'm sure you have just saw the sample. So one word or like one sentence about the whole fan base of Bangalore. You have a lot of Tamil people. 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 I think uh, generations have changed. 27 years, they say every three years, five years, the entire taste, attitude, no, everything changes. But again, uh, thanks to my Anbana, Anbana fans, they still keep me relevant, they still keep me connected. Thanks to again my directors and my producers for uh, keeping me connected with this wonderful, wonderful people. And as I said, uh, it's a long time due. I think it's a responsibility to give a fully loaded film and uh, I think Kangua will be a gift from all of us for the Anbana fans. Thank you, sir. I would uh, leave it to the media. Please go ahead, we can start. Ha, ha. <laughs> Good afternoon, Surya, Venkat. Uh, I have here, sir, right here, right here. Hello, sir. yes, first floor, yes. This is, Shar this is Sharda from the New Indian Express. I have more than a couple of questions for you both. To start with, uh, 27 years, uh, most of your films have been released in Bangalore also and people have watched. People know you as a star, but you are more than an actor. Also, you are very experimental in your films. How experimental was Kangua for you? Um. Usually, I, I go back to my personal experience to be that character. Uh, whenever there is a character given, I try to see which is closer to my personal life experience and that's how I draw my emotions. That's how I make it as real as possible. Kangua was a very, very different world, which is 700,000 years back. But uh, I really have a lot of respect and love for my director's writings and the choice of words and his briefing. Kangua character, Kangua stands for his word. He stands for his people. And what come may, uh, he's not a fighter, but he's a warrior. I have a lot of respect for Kangua as a character. And maybe I have said this before, I would like to repeat. I would like to be Kangua in real life. Whenever there's a word given, I would want, I would want to completely stand for it. And that's the character uh, I've played. And uh, uh, it also talks about uh, forgiveness, which is the most purest form of love. And uh, the whole sequence is just not an action sequence, which is, uh, you no, know, you all obviously see in the trailer, but th there's a lot of underlying emotion in the film. It, it, it will just not be like an action sequence or a video game, but uh, the whole core and the backbone of the film is the emotion. So I completely had a lot of respect and I fell in love with uh, Kangua. Okay, sir. So, uh, secondly, uh, most of the stars have vouched for it. Uh, I want to know whether you believe this. Uh, any film success depends on the response coming from Bengaluru especially. So, how do you explain this, sir? I think it's a wonderful place where all of us would love to come and stay here. Be it people from other states, other language-speaking people, people from US when they want to come back and settle in India, they of course talk about Bangalore. So, you have a collective response which is happening here. It's just not restricted to one language or just one sensibility. If it's accepted here in Bangalore, we 
again you no know, we take it for granted that everybody has watched it in all languages possible collectively they have accepted the film and they have appreciated the film so definitely looking forward for the first call from bengal garu <laughs> but is it or the revenue you earn from bengaluru or the kind of response for your I, acting and i will stay back with the love they have given for the film uh i'm 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 also a producer i'm also an actor but in this i'm an actor but even if i was a producer my first you no know, call or the first response i will be waiting for is the acceptance and the love they have given in the gallery in the theaters that will be my first uh, wait <laughs> Okay, man, man, just, man, man, man. I, I said I have more than a couple of questions. Just two more questions, sir. I don't know. Just uh, th this is a thought. October 10th, Kangawa is supposed to release because of Vetian. You uh, you postponed the movie. Uh, today, you are okay to come with Bharati Ranagal with Shivraj Kumar. You you felt that it's an ordinary film or something like that. See, as you know, it's a film which is released in all languages. all languages are possible and whatever is the best possible date is what you know everybody is uh, hoping and wanting to happen it is actually not that intentional at all uh, shivana is the dearest dearest uh, anna for me you hopefully you should be knowing uh, every festival or every day we always had 10 12 films releasing and i'm hoping like now for diwali singam has released and bulbule has released and both are collecting 100 100 crores and why you think people will go for only one film why you think people will no boycott one film and not go for one film or one film will overshadow the other film that is not going to on 10th only that yeah, was the case yeah that's then the film also was not ready ma'am the 3d version also was not ready even now the sensor is still happening we had also post production work going on the side that might have been one reason but we had other so many reasons for the release date change ma'am sorry really sorry ma'am inna thumba jana prashna kodta ma'am venkatke venkatke please ma'am ಸರ್ ವೆಂಕಟ್ ಅವರೇ ನೀವು ರೋಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರಿ ಸೂರ್ಯಗೆ ಇವಾಗ ಕಂಗೋವಾ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೊ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಫಿಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಜ್ಞಾನವೇಲ್ ಅವರು ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೋಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸರ್ ತೆಲುಗಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಟ್ರಿವ್ಯೂ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರುವಾಗ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಯು ಮೇಡ್ ಅ ಬಿಗ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ you want the this film to do big numbers also okay if you see in uh, the tra uh, trailer nimge gotagutte adralli eshtu hard work agide eshtu kharcha agirbodu visuals gagli you know are taking it. so we looking forward to good numbers not just from karnataka entire world at large this is the story that need to be told to the world not just indian cinema or not just one particular state uh, we hoping for the best numbers Uh, i don't want to put the numbers into bucket from one uh, one state in the hello uh, kinta overall agi nodva hello sorry are namaskara once again once again sir one prashne obru matra daivittu anyata bhava speed yakane thumba jana wait martira adrinda hagagi so sorry sir also we have heard hello. that within hello. 49 days you did the six packs is it true uh, uh, uh 49 was my age <laughs> i'm 49 years old and uh, i had took uh, 100 days it was a 100 days diet and thanks to my uh, trainer nirmal who stuck, stood by me with food and uh, 24 hours he was with me and i was able to do it and this decision also happened while shooting it didn't, we didn't you know think of doing this in the beginning of the film while shooting the sequences changed the location changed the the whole uh, idea changed and then there was a need to do it so it was all uh, like a crash course 100 days we were able to do it uh, surya sir yes surya sir this is ravi kumar he tv news inda uh, sir nimma pratiyondu cinema galu prekshakarige adu commercially agabodu family audience ke thumba ishta agutte kanguva is a trailer ella nodadaga hollywood parrots caribbean cinema da ondu kelavondu nenpagutte so pratiyondu cinema ku nimdu preparation siddhate anta irutte ee kanguva paatrakke ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಹೇಗಿತ್ತು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನೀವೊಬ್ಬರು ಅಂದರೆ ಸೌತ್ ಸಿನಿಮಾದಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸಿನಿಮಾಗಳು ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಮೂವತ್ತೆಂಟು ಭಾಷೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವೈಡ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಕ್ಸೈಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಕೇಮ್ 
uh, to do a larger format film, a larger canvas film, and also to push boundaries. And uh, how can we increase the emotions? How can we tell a larger, you know, show a larger world, uh, show a varied emotion? So all that came, of course, after the OTT explosion happened. Uh, Shivagaru had two, three scripts, and Yanamelugaru was uh, very, very ambitious uh, to invest this money and say, like, let's go ahead and do something like this. It's high time in Tamil we did a film like this, and that's how the whole idea started. I think, uh, uh, as you uh, heard uh, the previous question which I answered, it's just not an action film, but it also has a lot of, lot of uh, emotions, which is the uh, core of this film. Uh, it's about uh, three islands, and what if uh, these islands have a, a, a divide with uh, power, divided by uh, no economic, uh, no uh, their stability? What if there is a conflict, and what if there is a foreign invasion, and how their core faith will hold? Will their core faith change? And what will the warrior, a person who is uh, Kangua, who stands for his community, to? what extent he will go and he will stand for his people. And the core emotion is very different because it's a promise. And how is he standing tall for his promise? And I don't want to say more about the film, but uh, that's the kind of emotion which uh, happens in this film. And uh, I've never played a warrior. We have seen Troy, we have seen uh, uh, 300, or we have seen so many films, and we have just been in awe of those films, and we've never thought of recreating something like that for the last 20 years, 25 years. But uh, as I said, thanks to Raj Mamlikaru and films like Kantara and KGF, we are able to push boundaries. We are not able, we are not just controlled by the market forces, saying this actor, this director can invest only so much money and they can do only such a film. We are able to do this because of the love and the encouragement we are getting from all over, not only our state, from all the other states. Because of the support, we are able to invest further and uh, of course we are not finishing a film in uh, 80 days and rushing it. We all are investing time, like how uh, Bahubali took five years, this has taken almost uh, two and a half years. And none of them, when they see money and when they see their remuneration and no, I am working for this and I'm, I can only do this, such films will never get made. So from the entire cast and crew, from 3,000 people have worked day and night for more than 170 days just for the love of good cinema. And of course, uh, for the love what uh, uh, my director Shivagaru radiates in the floor, in the shooting spot. We all worked for our director, we would say. He's such a positive person and uh, he really kept motivating those 3,000 people every day. It, it was a joy working under uh, my director, Shivagaru. Sorry, sir. Sir, uh, sir. Sir, uh, sir, 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 you and Bobby Dewell have acted together on the screen, so what do you feel about that? So, uh, as I said, sir, uh, it is just not a film which is restricted to one language. I think uh, Bobby Dewell, sir, when uh, he had come and we were shooting, Animal had not released. Nobody has seen Animal. Uh, Shiva sir had seen a video clip of uh, uh, Bobby Dewell, sir, in a, a CCL match or in an airport and uh, he immediately liked he immediately liked uh, yeah, Adira's uh, character's name. They are from another island and uh, they worship, their deity is blood. Like Kangua's deity is uh, fire, the fire god, and for them Udiran is blood. So he was just waiting for Udiran to come and uh, as he saw Bobby Duel sir uh, in, a, in an Instagram reel or a post, I think he immediately liked it and we approached. It was his generosity, he was very large-hearted to accommodate this time because he was doing some four or five films. He sacrificed uh, festivals, he sacrificed family holidays, he definitely uh, compromise must be on his salary, so many things and it was him who like made it happen. Uh, Kangua, uh, he's with it because of more his effort, I would uh, say. And uh, it was immediately brotherhood. 
the day he entered, uh, it was not looking like you know a, a person who we have looked upon like for the 20 years. He's three years senior to me, uh, but uh, it looked like like we knew each other for the last 20, 30 years. And that's the kind of uh, friendship and warmth he gave all of us. Uh, he was a darling to work, darling, darling to work with. Uh, 15 days, we had a lot of, lot of memories. Uh, we were able to share so many memories about uh, his family and my family. He's a complete, again, uh, another family man. Uh, most of the dialogues and most of the conversation was uh, based on our family. And from the date he uh, proposed, the day he met his uh, wife and how everything happened and how uh, everybody was uh, supporting in his ups and downs. He's an open book. He's in a like completely an open book where he, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, he, he, I have never seen such a warm person uh, before. In, in like in five minutes, we just click like that. And uh, he stood so tall for this film. He stood really strong for this film. He gave everything for the climax, uh, for all the stunt sequences. It's a, it's not easy to speak another language and act, but uh, he gave everything. Like as I said, it's not about money. It is not about just a job, doing a job and going. Everybody has invested a lot of love for uh, Kangawa to happen, sir. Lokesh from New South. Sir, 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 but the Shiva or this cinema the content that they give, even the quality, na achieve more than that, we can say. Apocalypse ugly, you know, three hundred ugly, Vikings ugly, all the quality, na, can India get done for that? cinema mall Sir, after doing the Pan Indian films, so automatically the kind of Magnum Opus films they chose the path is different. So how do you choose the scripts? And also Shiva is confident about this whole process of writing and executing it. Artha <laughs> Thorga. <laughs> Uh, so it is important to uh, tell different stories and uh, it is important it's important to it's a cinema few people say I've heard somebody saying it's an uh, it's a uh, machine which creates emotion it's an emotional machine it's important in the two hours you are able to see another world you are able to see another person's life in depth you are able to see his problems his joy his uh, sorrows his journey everything in 360 degrees one film in two hours should be able to completely show you uh, you know pictureize another world which you might not have lived or you must have not experienced or you must not have uh, heard of i think stories must be said in a way which will uh, like maybe cleanse you which will enlighten you which will give you some wisdom or which will answer your questions i i come somewhere wait for something like that or it should at least create a debate something which you have not read in your school in your uh, college or maybe not discussing on your dining table so movies should have should give you a different experience apart from entertaining i think you no know, it should you no know, say like why can't i be like this it should put a drop of emotion which you would want to carry home and uh, like how uh, uh, Sura reporter was completely you know from here and everybody loved and we have to celebrate our people it is about that I, like jb was also loved and celebrated i think this pure emotion will also be carried back home is what i uh, genuinely feel uh, it uh, again talks about uh, that forgiveness but also takes you to a, another world transforms you to another world but the core emotion will also i'm hoping hoping there'll be a, a take back uh, after watching this film and that's what we rely on uh, shiva sir is a visual director he was a, a first an editor and then the cinematographer and then a director so visually this would be a beautiful beautiful film but uh, his core also relies on uh, basic emotion human emotion so we rely on both and uh, hopefully we should satisfy you 200 percent with you know, what we are aiming for KVN Kadili. 
to uh, be part of that movie and uh, be a producer of that movie. Uh, Surya sir, uh, combinationally Kevin Productions movie, I think I'll ask Surya sir only to answer. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've been a, f uh, a great fan of Surya sir's work. He's uh, one actor, so much of versatility. Any role that he takes, uh, you know, he, he lives in that role and uh, makes us believe that it is not Surya sir, it is that character. Uh, we're very fond of him. Some There's not even, movie to movie, somebody was mentioning, there's so much of difference. Uh, the way he portrays a character is very different. In fact, Sharda or Kelta Idro, Rolex in the Kangwak Bandidranta, Illa Madam Nano, uh, first Mitali Hilde, uh, Vikram Borovargo, uh, Elaru Kail Rolex Itu, Vikram Bandmele, Elaru Hartel Rolex on Mutidranta. So, and, and that is how he portrays, that is, I think, a two minute, three minute scene, but uh, memorable for all of us forever. Uh, we we will find uh, some way. I mean, time will hopefully with the time we'll be able to find something uh, to definitely work together. It's uh, uh, it's a privilege for us to to collaborate and do something with Surya. Hello, sir. This is Harsh Yes, yes. One. Hello, sir. This is Harsh Vardhan from Vijayvani newspaper. This is uh, Andre. Surya sir, Adro answer madhu da. To Venkat sir, Adro answer madhu do. Canada film industry do ando practical samasi itti chin varshagal dena akti dena re. Multi language cinema gal bandru saha bare state galali hichchi na sankheli theater siktaila. So iga Kangua movie na Canada andre Canada thali yesh theater sali release madhu ko unta an kundi ra idea ila. 300 screens, 400 screens. As a prominent member of the Tamil movie industry, can you assure the same number of theatres in Tamil Nadu for Shivanna's Bhairathirangal movie? So, I think uh, I am uh, genuinely not a part of a distribution circle. And I would really wish and would want to, if there is any collaboration and if somebody is you know, having a, a meeting and sitting and saying like, no, can we do something together? And uh, if the, such a conversation happens, I will go to any extent, to, to any extent to talk to my distributors, to anybody and to whatever power I have, I would you know, be a part of that and I would do that. There's no looking back on that at all. If there's a conversation, I would uh, call anybody, I will knock any doors to make such a thing happen. But it's a different world. Marketing is a different world, distribution is a different world and of course theater owners, it's, it's a completely different world. To my extent, to whatever power, uh, to my capability, whatever I can do, I will go all out. And the two, uh, Shivana, I will go all out and I will be doing Hi, this is Pramo Fakita from Vijay Karnataka. One second, one second. Let, let him complete. Let him this is Surya sir, Lakshmina and here from Guarantee News. Sir, uh, before I am asking question for you, I, will, I firstly thank you for making a fantabulous movie on our Kannadiga Captain Gopinath Surarai Potro. Sir, my question is about uh, visual treat of Kangua. As you said, uh, without using the lights, uh, cameraman Vetri has used uh, has made a movie, right? So, how Shiva sir's inputs uh, press for this movie? Basically, he is also a cinematographer, right? So, what are the uh, techniques they have used? So usually, uh, any any scene when you recreate any scene from paper to screen in front of camera, it is about staging. Where you are going to start the scene? know how many like from is it going to you want to start from this cell phone and then go to the actor or you want to start away straight from a you know a, a complete master shot or uh, know how the actors are going to enter the frame so shiva sir and Vetri they both have been uh, classmates uh, shiva sir is also from the film institute and he's a gold medalist they both are batchmates so their understanding is amazing and uh, every time a scene uh, takes a very a very uh, different, uh, you know, uh, uh, whatever you see on a scene paper is not what is happening actually on the shooting day. In fact, I would say like there's no scene paper also. <laughs> it's all in mostly in Shiva's head and uh, he'll give you small notes. So this is the dialogue and that day morning you will be knowing your dialogue. We know the scene, we know the story, we know the screenplay, we know what is happening, every moment is known. But uh, he believes in uh, improvising his dialogues till the last minute before the shot goes. Most of the directors have experienced even Rolex was done like that uh, just that day morning I got the scene paper and uh, just before going into the sets uh, the final dialogues were uh, no uh, finalized and written 
and the staging of course there was no plan it just went by the flow so visually uh, shiva sir is wonderful in green mat also so a director it's a blessing it's a blessing for any actor and any producer if a director has all this experience one man having all this experience usually you rely on a, a cg technician or, or a chief technician to come and help you with the cgi or a, a stunt co coordinator to help you with that or of course a cinematographer to help you with it but uh, shiva sir has been an editor at the age of 12 13 for six years then he's been a cinema cinematographer for the longest time and uh, from the film induced gold medalist and he's been a director for at least some 20 30 films and he's also very good with literature so you want to come on the stage and talk because uh, i think there's something important to talk for you okay so uh, cinematographer uh, editor and uh, a director a screenplay writer uh, somebody who's very good with literature for all of that experience you are blessed to be an actor under him you're blessed to be a you no know, a producer for him so kanduva has got the right team i would say and shiva sir has added a lot of lot of value for this film i don't know why he didn't do such a film for all these years i feel lucky so whenever there is a dream project for a director i am luckily being placed in between that and uh, i should also say venkat garu yeah, such lovely people are important for this film industry so there's a every time there's a new blood which is important to you know be come into the industry and that flush fresh blood makes the industry you no know, go on go on for some more time i've had a lot of other language speaking directors also through uh, venkat garu i've been introduced uh, through him and hopefully should I, he is thirsty he wants to do something big uh, so it's my responsibility to associate with with a very good project and so, for the longest time we are talking and hopefully we'll come with a very very good one an important one so i said this is sir, a promo from, from vijay from sir 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 one nimsha one nimsha one nimsha i said ramesh from t5 uh, sir kanguva cinema ge matte bahubali cinema ge sakashtu holike anta ela maatadtidara andre fantasy world prakara bahubali na meersutte kanguva anta heli ondashtu website galalli nimma tamil website galu channel galalli bandiru Bahubali cinema in the Tumba Dodagi fantasy Maditare, Bahubali in the Tumba Dodagi portrait, the Tumba Kina Dodu cinema theatre, and you Bahubali cinema competent at Tagun Maduota, and an inspiration of Tagun Maduota, the kind of pan world material is actor of the Bahubali Nimiga competent at the one of the inspiration. Sorry, sir, if you don't mind. Before that, this is the last question. Please don't mind. Yakandre, or in Nantka Hoga Kagi, I met the Bahus Pedi. You want to question my reaction? Please, Shamayli, please. It's a humble request because next one is going to work. Hagagi, we need to finish that. That's why. Please don't mind. Hagagi. Either next to one person, I can work. I say, you will work. Either the last, please. Oh, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, it can only be inspiration, sir. Because we don't want to you know, invest uh, two, three years of our time and tell the same story. Bahubali is about uh, you know, uh, a very, very highly civilized uh, kingdom. They are kings and they are you know, from a very different world. These are all uh, primal instincts. These are all from the tribe. The, the whole world, the whole, uh, uh, you know, their instincts, their emotions are completely going to be different. And it's also based on uh, islands. And it's about, uh, I think I don't even have to explain this. Uh, it will be a totally a different world. Uh, at least there will be 500 years difference between both the worlds. And uh, when you go to office, you are in a different way. At home, you are different. And when you, you know, come from your remote village, you are in a very, very different, uh, you know, relaxed way. So in that, that way, like if you're going 700 years back, your primal instincts are very, very different. The way you are now polished and civilized is very different. And what if those people are those days, what do they stand for and how do they react and what is their anger? Now, what is their emotion? And it was not an age where it's a, it was all literally close to a stone age. It was not an age where you don't even see the swords and knives sharp enough. So that's the kind of world they live in. I think there's no comparison between uh, you know, Vahubali and uh, Kangwa. It's only uh, dare to dream big is the core emotion which we have taken from Raj Mavlikaru. And that's what uh, I think we would, would proudly say, like we would want to be as successful and, you uh, know, uh, uh, thankful to him for uh, opening all the doors. Sir, Aili, one, one question, last question. Please, 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 please. Uh, one, the, okay, done. Uh, last, this is the last question. Please, only the power speed yesterday. Sir, I have a request for you. 
ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನವೆಂಬರ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ರಾಜ್ಯೋತ್ಸವ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವಿಶ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಕನ್ನಡ ರಾಜ್ಯೋತ್ಸವದ ಶುಭಾಶಯಗಳು ಸರ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ರಾಜ್ಯೋತ್ಸವ ಶುಭಾಶಯಗಳು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ನೋಡೋಣ ನೀವು ಹೇಳಿರೋದು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇದು ತುಂಬ ತುಂಬ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನಮಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಸೊ ಕನ್ನಡ ರಾಜ್ಯೋತ್ಸವದ ಶುಭಾಶಯಗಳು ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅನ್ಯತಾ ಭಾವಿಸಬೇಡಿ ಇವ್ರಿಗೆ ಎರಡು ಇವೆಂಟ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಹೋಗಲೇಬೇ